The Commission on the Future of the United States Aerospace Industry was formed jointly by United States President George W. Bush and the United States Congress in 2001. Its first public meeting was held on November 27, 2001, and its final report was given on November 18, 2002. Topic: Introduction. An excerpt from the introduction of the interim report number 2 of the commission. The Commission on the Future of the United States Aerospace Industry was established by Section 1092 of the Floyd D. Spence National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2001, Public Law 106-398. It was formed to study the future of the U.S. aerospace industry in the global economy, particularly in relationship to U.S. national security, and to assess the future importance of the domestic aerospace industry for the economic and national security of the United States. Commissioners The commission consisted of 12 members, six of whom were appointed by the President, and six appointed by Congress, three from the House and three from the Senate. Presidential appointees Buzz Aldrin, former astronaut Ed Bolin, President of General Aviation Manufacturers Association John W. Douglas, former Assistant Secretary of the Navy Neil deGrasse Tyson, astrophysicist Robert Smith Walker, former U.S. Representative from Pennsylvania Heidi Wood, Managing Director, Morgan Stanley Executive Director, Charles H. Huttner Senate appointees John Hammer William Schneider, Jr. Robert J. Stevens, Chairman, President, and CEO of Lockheed Martin House appointees Tom Buffenbarger, President of the International Association of Machinists F. Witten Peters Tilly K. Fowler Topic. Reports The Commission produced three interim reports and a final report. Interim Report No. 1 December 18, 2001 Interim Report No. 2 March 20, 2002 Interim Report No. 3 June 26, 2002 Final Report, November 18, 2002 Topic. Meetings The Commission held six public meetings to hear testimonies and gain different perspectives. The first meeting was held on November 27, 2001, where the Commission heard testimonies from the Administration, Congress, and the Executive Branch. The second meeting was held on February 12, 2002, which consisted of air transportation capacity, infrastructure discussions, and well as export control discussions. The third meeting was held on May 14, 2002, and included discussions on space, including a testimony from Sean O'Keefe. The three other public meetings were held on August 22, 2002, September 17, 2002, and October 23, 2002. See also President's Commission on Implementation of United States Space Exploration Policy